Hey everybody, it's Mike. Oh, I found this really nice photo. Well, <laughs> it's nice only because it's a great uh, image and it really sets up nice for a interesting painting. So uh, this is going to be my subject matter. Um, you know, I used nothing fancy, just uh, a wide variety. This particular painting is going to be an acrylic. Uh, these are the colors I'm going to use. One, two, three, four, five, plus black and white. Uh, some common brushes you can find at the hardware store, nothing too fancy, palette knife, bucket of water, and a spray bottle. This is my mess, so uh, this is what we're going to do, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. For me to get going on this painting, I just uh, squeeze some paint out on a paper plate palette and uh, start covering the canvas quickly. A little bit of water here or there but for the most part uh, just put some paint on the canvas get rid of the white move it around and make the background interesting At this point in the painting I'm uh, starting to build the uh, background get that filled in get my shadow areas straightened out and uh, keep on refining the shapes I'm looking at shapes using my dark uh, pretty much straight black to help build the uh, shape areas and refine things that I see from the photograph. In this area now, I'm starting to uh, get the face blocked in, uh, lifting color out and using just a little bit of water to help pull the color off the mat. You know, my color palette uh, for this, I started with a black and white photo and uh, just squeezed out three or four colors and said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do whatever I want on this one. Uh, the warm colors are in the lighter area and the cooler colors I'm hoping are going to be in the shadow area but uh, a lot of thick paint and uh, palette knife almost all the way just getting some paint onto the canvas and uh, starting to build up some layers Got the face fairly well uh, blocked in, and I'm starting to work my way around, putting in uh, my interpretation of the hair, and uh, starting to work on the body area. Got a little cut off here on the on the video camera, but you get the general idea of uh, putting out a lot of paint and blocking in some areas, and then working towards. The end, which is refining the shapes and pretty much taking some liberties to decide how do I want this painting to go and uh, looking at color combinations. This is a little bit different the way this whole painting is going with uh, some unique colors. At this stage of the painting, I'm uh, working on the face and fine-tuning a lot of the shapes and spending most of my time here now uh, looking at first some black for the heaviest shadow area and then I'll come back over it once that's dry with a combination of some warmer colors on the highlight side and then some cooler colors on the shadow side. Uh, but now it's a lot of studying the the source photo and looking for real slight 
nuances in uh, the gray areas and trying to get a nice uh, developed piece for the face. Initially I had started to go with just a straight black background but uh, as the painting progressed I decided I might want to add a little bit of color so just picked up some red a little bit of water and uh, added some pink and yellow wanted to see how that was going to work to help support the painting and uh, in the end I, I kept the red in the background so again artist choice decide what you want to do moving towards the finish line and hopefully uh, I can always paint over it if I didn't like it this painting was uh, very different for me uh, usually don't work uh, in acrylics and uh, usually don't do nudes and uh, don't use this type of color palette but in the end I like the way I could build up the layers quickly and uh, had some interesting effects it's an experimentation for me uh, arts about trying different things and seeing what works and what doesn't uh, this one worked all right had some fun with it got it done really quick uh, just a couple hours spent on it that's the beauty of acrylics and I'm glad you guys uh, spent some time watching any questions feel free to drop me an email thanks a lot this is Mike see you later